Hi, it's Eric here with another dive and adventure. This is a little sculpture that I've put in of Ulladulla Bommy, just two nautical miles out of Ulladulla. And uh, you can see it sitting pretty there. But of course, before you do this, you've got to go and collect the clay. This is a uh, clay body at Washerwoman's Beach, just off Bindalore Point there. And it's really nice stuff. Uh, it's almost pure. Kaolin, there's not much you need to do to it, so I just pick a few kilograms up, put it in a bucket, and I take it home, and then uh, grab my old bin, the old faithful garbage bin, and of course I break it up with a hammer just to make it a little bit smaller, but you don't need to be too uh, spectacular about this, you just really need to break it up, put some water and vinegar in, and I leave that for ooh, about a week just to let everything soak up and I give it a good mix, a good plunge and then I lay it out on some uh, old towels on the concrete floor. I've found this to be actually the best way of removing excess water from clay and then it just takes a little bit of uh, wedging up, fixing up there, you smack it about a bit Take some of the uh, dry bits and push them in. Get yourself a reasonable square of it. Put it onto the rack and let that dry for probably oh, another four or five days, depending on the weather, depending on the moisture in the air. Give it a little bit of a press to see how good it is in the middle. And then I'll just, when I'm happy with that, I'll just bag it up and uh, leave it in another bin just to equilibrate, just to let the water and the clay even out a bit. And of course, once I've done that, well, I start building something. And here's something I built. I'm getting a lot quicker at this. And uh, I'm a, I make a very basic pyramid form. And then really just start cutting it out. I don't have any plans. I don't have any idea what I'm doing. I just let sort of let the mood take me. This is uh, very hollow up the top to let the fish swim through and let the water come through and it's quite solid down the bottom so it's quite heavy and hopefully it won't get messed around by the current or the swell too much. And after it's fired to stoneware it's no longer clay it's now ceramic and ready to put under water. Here it is on the boat with its uh, with its bag ready to go and there's Steve on the boat a few other people in the water and we're about to take it down and here we are well here I am at 20 meters and uh, you can see the lift bags holding up the uh, little pyramid quite well I've got a glow tube underneath I don't know why but I just did <laughs> and there I'm taking it now down into the cave and uh, which is about 22 meters I think and there's a fish coming in to inspect it who knows his little brothers and sisters might live there one day you can see there's a lot of swim abouts the cave's very protected so it should be fairly safe from this well but you just have to see and there it is in its new habitat its new home amongst the rocks and of course it's right near another sculpture that was put down I think about 20 years ago which is a seal and I don't know if you can see the seal with the ball on his nose he's now pretty much covered and uh, going back into the ocean the way that all things do eventually but now he's got a, a friend to be there with so if you're around Ulladulla sometime and you're diving off Bombay, please have a look at the pyramid. I'd also like to thank Steve from Ulladulla Dive Adventures for helping me put the thing out there. And uh, if you have any comments, please put it in the uh, section below. Thank you. And we'll see you next time.